Hey guys, how's it going? Masterbucks here. Welcome to another FIFA video and I hope you're all doing okay. Now it's not a career mode video, technically. It's not exactly a career mode experiments video either, but it is still answering, at the moment, a bit of a hypothetical question. By now, I'm sure the majority of you have heard about the big hype right now that there seems to be surrounding a potential Premier League All-Stars game. It all started with one tweet from Romelu Lukaku. He is a pretty big NBA fan just like I am and quite recently the NBA had their all-star weekend break where they get some of the best players from each conference, the West and the East, to play against each other. It was a little bit different this year but you get the idea. The best players assemble a team of East and West and compete against each other. And it's a really cool, awesome game. There's not an awful lot of defense. The players don't take it too seriously, although this year there was a little bit more competitiveness. But overall, it's a just good fun event. So Lukaku wants to see this concept brought to the Premier League, which to be honest, I think is a cool idea. And if it happens, and hey, I'm all for it, I don't know if it'd work in the same way as the NBA do, because the way that the NBA works and with their all-star game, it's it's a lot more, even though yes, it is still a sport, it's a lot more entertainment, you know, uh, sensationalism about that league as well. Whereas football is a lot more simple. It's more just tribalism, my club, my players. So I don't know if it'd work. I don't know if fans would really get around it in the same way, but it'd still be a spectacle. So that's why I put together this video. I have assembled a North All-Stars team and a South All-Stars team. My own opinion, I've definitely taken some input from elsewhere, but I have created my own North and South All-Star teams. We are going to pit them against each other in a simulated match in FIFA 18 and see who comes out with the victory. This is the starting 11 for the North All-Stars. We've got in goal David De Gea. The back four consists of Andrew Robertson, who's been absolutely fantastic, especially recently at left back, Otamendi, Van Dijk, the centre backs, Kyle Walker, the right back, Nemanja Matic and Fernandinho as the two centre defensive midfielders, and then De Bruyne, the other midfielder, and of course the front three, relatively simple one this to put together, Leroy Sane, Sergio Aguero, and of course Mo Salah had to get in there as well. This is my starting 11. Now, there are definitely some players that could have potentially gotten into that side or that starting 11 over others, but don't worry, I have also put together a substitutes and even a couple of reserve players that just missed the cut by that much. My substitutes look like this. We've got Edison. There was no way he was getting in over De Gea. I know he's good, but he was definitely going to be on the bench. We've got Antonio Valencia and John Stones, the other defenders. We've got David Silva and Paul Pogba on the bench. Roberto Firmino is the striker. And then Raheem Sterling as well. Sterling, I, I nearly put into this team as well. Nearly almost over Leroy Sane. But for the sake of positioning, the fact that Sane actually does play at left wing and Sterling's on the right... And Mo Salah was going to get that spot. I'm sorry, Sterling. I really think you're having an amazing season, but you're going to have to go on the bench. Now for the reserves, a couple of players that I really wanted to put into this team, but just couldn't find space for. Romelu Lukaku, the man that this all started with, with his tweet. He's not even going to get in, not just the starting 11, but on the bench. And it was very tight between him and Roberto Firmino. But uh, no, in the end, I, I had to give it to Roberto Firmino. I think he's just edged Lukaku in recent times anyway. Sadio Mane, another player that was very close, but unfortunately he's going to have to take a back seat. This time we've got Idris Gay, another very good player that I thought was just this far off maybe sneaking in, but the fact that he's competing with David Silva and Paul Pogba it was always going to be tough. And then of course Jesse Lingard, the same goes. David Silva, Paul Pogba, have I got to make, have I got room to put Jesse Lingard in? It just wasn't going to happen. So there are a few reserve players, and then obviously others like, for example, Sanchez, who's not really firing like he once was in the Prem. But yeah, that is my North All Stars team. This is the South All Stars team. We have got Thibaut Courtois in goal, Marcus Alonso at left back. Alderweireld and Vertonghen as the centre backs. As Pelaquetta, even though he is a centre back in game, I'm going to play him on the right back. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to play him at right back for this one. We've got Musa Dembele and Ingolo Conte and Eriksen as the midfielders. And then up front, and this is a pretty good attacking three as well. We've got uh, Eden Hazard, of course Harry Kane, and Riyad Mahrez on the right wing. Once again, just like with the North All Star team, there's a lot of players that very very easily could have gotten in the starting 11 and I had to make a couple of judgment calls. It was tough, but for the sake of consistency with the actual formation itself and making sure I'm not playing players too far out of position, I just wanted to go with the most sensible starting 11 possible. But however, let's go through the substitutions. Hugo Lloris is just going to have to take a back seat this time to, of course, Thibaut Courtois. I feel like that's Relatively reasonable. A lot of people understand that. We've got Nacho Monreal, another player I was, again, another centre back in game, but another player I was close to playing at left back instead. I'm going to give it to Marcus Alonso. We've got Tar uh, Tarkovsky, who is, again, doing sensational stuff for Burnley. Really quality centre back this year. Mesut Ozil on the bench, along with Deli Alley. And then we've got Morata. Yes. Not really going as well in the Premier League at the moment, but let's not forget the incredibly hot start that he's had. He's got 10 goals and 5 assists in the Premier League in just 
20 odd appearances. He's really done okay. So he deserves his spot in this team. And then Willian, another player I was pretty close to putting in the starting 11 over Riyad Mahrez, but just because the fact Mahrez has been a little bit more consistent for the entirety of the year, I'm going to give him the starting 11 spot and have Willian on the bench. And the reserves for the South All-Stars, few players I thought were very close to getting in, but I'm just not going to select them. We've got Hyung Ming Son, uh, 83 rated left midfielder, just missing out. We've got Aaron Ramsey, Jamie Vardy, again, not really setting the world or the Premier League on fire per se, but he does have a very good tally of goals at this point, so he just misses out. Uh, between, I know there'll be a few people that are saying, as if you're not putting Vardy in over Morata, because of the fact Vardy's been a lot better, but I mean, Morata, yes, he, uh, it's, it's a, it was a tough one, but Morata actually has done brilliant stuff in the Premier League. It's just, it's a shame that he slowed down a little bit. And the other player, in my opinion, that's just going to miss out on a spot, and there may be a few of you that think I'm joking here, but I'm really fucking not. Shane Duffy is actually doing bits this season. So we are about to get it underway. The Premier League All-Stars game between the North and South All-Stars. It's a very interesting concept. A lot of fans have thrown their support behind it. It'll be interesting to see if it happens in the future. But for now, let's leave it to FIFA 18 to decide who would win. The North or South All-Stars. Let's go. And here they are, ladies and gentlemen, about to get things underway. I genuinely don't know who would win between these two, but on paper, I think the North All-Stars just edge the South All-Stars a little bit. So I'm going to say that they're the ones that end up taking the chocolates. As for scoreline, I don't know. You never know when it comes to these simulations. It could be nil-nil or like a 5-4. Who knows? I'm going to hope that we get plenty of goals, just like I would imagine you would in the actual All-Stars game. And I'm going to say, we'll say a 3-2 victory for the North All-Stars. That's who I reckon. And maybe a hat-trick potentially for a Mo Salah or an Aguero. We'll see. But okay, ladies and gentlemen, the talk, the hype, it's all done. And here we go. Finally, getting this All-Star simulation underway. It's the exact same formations as well. So it's not like one team has a slightly better formation over the other. Walker deals with the attack from Hazard and that's the first attack done. Mo Salah's looking to get away here though. He's being chased by, I think, Dembele, who's not going to be able to keep up with him. Fernandinho, bit of a heavy touch, gets taken out there. It's an advantage. Salah looking to go on through, finds a way through, finds Sane, and his header goes wide. A vicious counter-attack by the North All-Stars, nearly the first goal. Oh, they tried to go up the middle. It didn't really work, but Conte's still keeping possession. It's a fierce battle between these two. It nearly went the whole way. Eventually, finally, the North All-Stars get it back. Fernandinho holding up his man, finds a way to get it to Salah. Salah has just been sensational so far. I'll cross into the box. It's an interesting one. Saved by Courtois. And on the rebound, comes in off the crossbar. Aguero gets the first. I said it would be the North All-Stars. And I'm leaning towards to win this game. Aguero scores the first. The ball into the box. Interesting by Matic. It found Sana, who first time awkward angle took a shot. And Courtois is just leaping to try to get something behind it. Aguero first time effort. I thought this was going over. I didn't know if he'd score from that angle, but he's got it. On uh, coming in off the crossbar, and it's Aguero, 1-0 to the North All-Stars. Fernandinho, they're trying the ball over the top. Salah somehow got something on that one, but again, the South All-Stars will try to clear. No, Aguero hunts him right down. It's a clear, a clear um, bit of domination right now as Mo Salah tried some, something spectacular. Didn't work, and Courtois claims it. This is some good play, you know. Oh, ho, ho! wow, and they respond like that. A ball into the box I didn't think would be all too threatening. A save. I've got some chocolate in my mouth. I'll be honest, boys. That's 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 what's going on. Very unprofessional of me, I know. But look at this. They were moving it around. They were finding space. The cross in. The keeper had to deal with it. And the clearance from Walker bounces off of N'Golo Conte and ends up in the back of the net somehow. Doesn't hit his arm. Bounces off the chest and it's in. Well, that's one of the more bizarre goals you'll see scored in FIFA. But it's just like that tied up 1-1. Oh, great ball. Great ball by Dembele. Bumped off it, though, by Mo Salah. It'll be interesting to see who the MVP of this game is going to end up being, too. Right now, I've kind of got to give it to Mo Salah. He doesn't have a goal or an assist, but my oh my God, he's been brilliant. Is a third goal in this game on the cards right now with a good delivery. Dealt by Alderweireld. And Sane goes from downtown. That was going on target. Courtois had to make the save. I can't believe he tried that Leroy Sane. Wow, well, I guess that's the sort of thing that you can do in an all-star game, but Jesus. We are entering into stoppage time right now, as I say that. They turn it over the North All-Stars, and now South are going to attack. Kane's not really been sent through all too well here. He's got two defenders in front, gets it back to Hazard, squares it into a dangerous area. David De Gea makes a sensational save. I didn't see who got the shot off, but it was surely going on target. De Gea had to pull off something brilliant. It's Ericsson. 
Yep, that was going bottom right-hand corner. Brilliant outstretched leg save by David De Gea. Trademark David De Gea save right there. Magnificent. And they couldn't get anything from the corner, which means we go into halftime 1-1. The better team, it definitely was the North All-Stars to begin, but the South All-Stars have just got better as the game's gone along, even though their goal has come through a crazy, crazy means with the fact that they cleared it. It bounced off a of Conte and went in. But still, 1-1. Maybe arguably the fair score line. Very good pass by Mares. Kane. He's been able to get inside of Otamendi. And De Gea makes the save. I can see the overlapping run of the fullbacks. They're not able to find a way into him. Conte. He's got space in front. Kane's there. Back to Conte. Kane and Conte. Can they link up? I think the shot was actually blocked by Kane, who was standing in the way. And he's in an offside position. So that's the end of it. And we see our first substitution. Paul Pogba comes on for Nemanja Matic. And it looks like Mesut Ozil in for Musa Dembele as well. Who is going to get this next goal? Who is going to take the lead? Pogba's doing stepovers when he had an option. He couldn't find a way into him. Now he passes to Aguero, who puts it straight to Courtois and makes the save. Both sides now getting opportunities to take the lead. No one's been able to convert yet. The North have definitely racked up quite a fair few corners, I'll be honest. Can De Bruyne whip in something dangerous? Not bad one, you know. Mares of all people, the one that gets ahead to it. Pogba brings it down. Kane, they do finally find a way out of there, the South, although not exactly. Yep, didn't think so. That was not a good pass. Leroy Sane now has space for the cross. It's Sterling versus Marcus Alonso, and we all know who's going to win that aerial battle. But still the North keep it. Sane, another cross in. Another dangerous one. If Aguero kept going, he probably could have beaten Courtois to that ball. Looking to find a way through here. That ball, if it got through to Sterling, it would have been dangerous, but still... Pressure being put on the south straight away here. Sterling, that's a great ball. Sane, the header is a bit too weak. Courtois straight to him as well. He can grab it. Poor turnovers right now from the south in their own half. Not just in their own half per se, but in their own third. In their own quarter. It's that bad. Ozil tried to slip in to Bruyne, or Ericsson, sorry. Nearly worked out. Robertson's all over him and he gets the tackle. Can someone win this game with almost no time remaining? With stoppage time approaching. Hazard. Ozil. Can Ozil find that magical ball through? He can find Ericsson! Ericsson! Oh, that's been blown! I think just over the crossbar. Maybe a bit wide as well. That was it. One of, if not the best chances in this second half. Kane nearly got in the way again. And yeah, just a few centimeters over the crossbar. South could have won it right there. And we are about to enter stoppage time. Three minutes of it. Here comes an attack from the South All-Stars. Kane. Can he be the hero? Robertson makes the tackle. A bit of a... Mix up between Otamendi and Robertson as to who exactly is going to kick it upfield and finally start the counter-attack for the North All-Stars. Aguero on the right-hand side. Can't find anyone through just yet. De Bruyne's there. He's being pushed all the way. That's some poor defense. The ball into the box. Aguero, what a, what a brilliant pass! And then off the post, David Silva nearly won it right at the end there. On the wrong side of the post, it'll bounce off. Look at that ball by Aguero. I was shook. I didn't know what to say when I saw that. Imagine it. Imagine that's how they won it. Right at the end there. Not to be. David Silva. Oh my goodness. This thing surely has to go to extra time now. Is there any time left? There could still be. Maybe there is at least one more attack on. Sterling's doing all he can. Trying to turn his defender inside and out. Finds... Cunaguero, low ball that went through the legs of the defender, but Courtois comes out, claims that he's had so much to deal with in this second half. And that is that 90 minutes done. So many opportunities to take the lead for both teams in that last in that last half, but no, not to be. And it finishes, at least after regular time, 1-1. Look, I'm going to safely assume that if an all-star game were to end in a draw in real life, that they would probably go to penalties straight away, just like they do in the Community Shield game. So... I'm probably just going to say that this one goes straight to penalties. We won't bother with the extra time. We'll just get a winner. Done. And we get treated to a penalty shootout. So bring it on then. What will be the result of this penalty shootout? North All-Stars will go first. And Aguero shoots right down the middle. Gets the first goal. I thought that on the basis of play, the North All-Stars deserved the win. They were at least... I, yeah, on the basis of play, the better team in terms of chances and all that. Kane finishes side netting. It's 1-1. De Bruyne steps up next. Who's going to choke first? Oh, that's a good finish. Bottom left-hand corner. Courtois goes the complete opposite direction. And now up steps Edin Hazard against David De Gea. And he's just tucked it underneath him. Still 2-2. Paul Pogba's turn. A little stutter step and saved the legs of Courtois. He had so much to do in the second half, Thibaut Courtois. Makes the first save. And it's going to be the North that blink first. And then South make them pay. It's 3-2. Willian scores and puts the South All-Stars up in front. 
David Silva does what he couldn't do in the last few minutes of the game, last few seconds, and score his goal. Up steps for Tongan with the chip. Oh, what are you doing, my son? And what are you doing this high up the pecking order in the penalty shootout? The chip, the dink, it didn't work out. Leroy Sane, he scores his, and then here we go. They need to score this goal, the South All-Stars, to keep in the shootout. Ericsson steps up. Can David De Gea be the hero? Can the North All-Stars get the win that they probably deserved on the basis of play? Ericsson. Oh, David De Gea just, just let it roll right on through. He just watched it. And now up steps Carl Walker. And again, the keepers are just standing still and watching it go right on past them. You probably could just stick out an arm and you'd get that. Now Mesut Ozil's turn. Must score penalty to keep them in the shootout. What's it going to be? Oh, he's blown it so far to the right. Mesut Ozil misses, and the North All-Stars win this simulation. There you go. Well, I'm not too surprised by this. The North definitely deserved it. How bad a penalty miss was this by Ozil? It didn't just go high. It went wide as well. It was not very pretty at all. Oh, dear, Mesut Ozil. Well, at least it's in just an All-Star game and not a cup final or anything, but... Deary me, the South All-Stars, they blow it in the penalty shootout. The North All-Stars win. So the first Premier League All-Stars game finishes 1-1. It's going to be won by the North All-Stars on penalties. Mesut Ozil is going to blow the last penalty of the shootout. And we're also going to have Aguero winning the MVP award. There we have it then, lads. I suppose I'll just throw it over to you. Of course, I put together my teams that I thought deserved to be in this season's All-Star game, if there was one. But I'm happy to hear who you would put into your starting 11 if you think certain players that missed out should be in, who you, who you would swap and all that. Thank you so much for watching this one, guys. Be sure to subscribe for more videos like this, more career mode experiment videos coming soon. And of course, the return of a beloved series that you guys have really been asking for pretty soon. Uh, a certain boy will be making an appearance very shortly. Till the next one, guys, my name's Masterbucks. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have a good one.